Yo, what up, YouTube? Philly Sports 76 coming at you with another IP recap. This is going to be Philly and Grizzlies. Um, the, the Grizzlies came in Saturday, and it was a pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool day. Um, not too many autographs, but I did get some pretty quality, pretty quality players. Um, I'll get into that. First, I just want to thank Roid Rage 29 for hooking me up and uh, getting. Let me like move down to almost courtside seats, which is really cool. Um, something I've never experienced sitting that close. Um, hopefully, in the future, the games will be better because it is kind of brutal right now. But um, yeah, I don't know if this is my last game of the year. Possibly looking at the Pistons um, because they're doing some kind of event that uh, I know my brother wants to go to. But um, anyway, we'll get into the autographs uh, first. Um, they they had a Flyers game right before, so I keep because they have to change over the from ice to court, obviously, and I keep thinking a lot of players will be out. But you know, I think I've done like two or three games this year where that just hasn't been the case, and a lot of the players are just not out. And I first came down and only saw like three guys, and I'll show them uh, the rookie Nick Caliths. Sorry if I'm butchering that name, Kalaiths. Um he signed one, didn't really seem like he wanted to sign, but someone asked him, and I have a card for him, and just gave him a decoy, that's why it's in silver, um, next one, well he was actually first, but Costa Kufos, uh, he's a pretty cool guy, um, there wasn't many people there, but the people that were there, he was joking around. Um, so yeah, he's cool. I probably have cards for him, but I was digging for cards, um, only a couple hours before the game, so I didn't get to look too hard to, to find anything for him. Um, next guy is John Luer. One second. Yeah, John Luer on the hoops. And a prestige. I really liked how the prestige came out. Um, he only signed two for me. I don't know if he's two per or not, or whatever the case is for him. But I had four cards out for him, and I, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's two per. But these were the two cards he didn't sign, so maybe he has something against Cleveland. I don't know. If you know, please let me know. But um, if not, maybe he has something against that or. Or whatever. But um, those are the only two guys out. And I was thinking, oh, this really isn't worth it. Because I was looking at the Sixers side and they only had, like, um, I don't know. Maybe Thad and some other D-League players. They have, like, four or five D-League players on their roster. And it really wasn't worth it either way. So I just stayed with the, the Grizzlies. Um... But uh, Ed Davis did sign. I forgot about him. I, I believe he was actually the first one. He probably came in right as I got there. But Ed Davis. Um, funny, when Co when Costa Kufo signed, uh, he looked at his card. And he was like, is that is that Ed or something? He said something like that. But, uh, you know. Um, then later, James Johnson kind of came out. And um, I was pretty shocked. I mean, I... I didn't hear about how how nice he is. Um, I don't know much about him as far as him being a player, but he did sign everything for me. I only had three for him, but uh, took his time with his signature. He even put number sixteen, as you'll notice, all these cards I have of him are from him uh, with the Bulls. Put sixteen on all of them. So and he wears number three now with the Grizzlies. So he took his time to sign, and that was really nice of him. Um, and this one's the best that I like, uh, the Donruss, came out really nice. Um, it's a simple JJ autograph, but, you know, he still made it neat. However, one he was signing, um, this guy, this guy came out of the tunnel, and, and because there was no one really there, I had a really good spot to get autographs, right in the corner, and, um, this guy came running out of the tunnel, maybe like, 
and it was only shooting around for like 10 minutes, but it was it was worth staying with the Grizzlies. But Zebo, um, the autograph looks the camera I don't think picks it up too well, but um, it was it was it was worth it. It was worth staying with the Grizzlies. Uh, I would have been pretty mad at myself if I had gone over to the Sixers side just to get I don't know Arnett Moultrie or someone. But um. So, so that's before the game. Uh, really happy that I got Zebo, and uh, that probably would have made my night. But um, af after the game, I told you how um, Roy Reed's twenty nine got me seats real, real close, and it was right near the um, Grizzlies bench, and I was able to get into a good spot for game used. And I haven't really been big on game used this season, but. Um, James Johnson again gave me his sleeve. It's not padded or anything like like most sleeves, but um, that's it. So I just asked him if he could have his sleeve when he was walking by at the end. And he took, I mean, he looked over and stopped and handed it to me, uh, which was pretty nice. So four, three autographs and game use from James Johnson. So he's a pretty pretty cool guy. Um, I'll look into him more after after uh, that game check on how he's doing and stuff. He was pretty nice to me in Philly. But, um, uh, the last guy who's walking, well, the last guy walking in was Mike Conley, but Marcus Saul was on the court, and some kid asked him for his autograph right as he got off the court. And I wasn't trying to get autographs at the end, because most players don't sign. But luckily, it's ironic, I told you the story about Alec Burks, how the page got stuck to the back, but this time I pulled out my binder and flipped right to the page for Marcus Saul, um, and there it is. I got him on the uh, Jersey die cut card. Um, I think this is the first. I think I may have one more autograph on here. I have to go back and look on one of these types of cards, but I do like the design. It's kind of a unique threads, you know, idea. Um, I wish I had a silver pen to get him in, but I just bought a new one. So, anyway, I mean, I still think it looks good enough in blue, and it's still Marcus All. Um, so yeah, I got lucky that someone was asking him for his autograph. And right when he got to me, when I asked him for his autograph, someone, like, stopped him and tried talking to him. And he was talking to the guy, so he grabbed my pen and signed. So that was nice of him. Um, yeah, two of the... Grizzlies best players and some game used and pretty good pretty nice seats were you know made a good night and if it's the last game of the season then I would be satisfied um, looking to do a lot more Phillies this year um, but that's about it for now so maybe one more Sixers recap and then start getting into Phillies but until then see you YouTube